Welcome students. Today we will be understanding the practical based on Frankhart experiment. Now what is the aim of this particular experiment? It is to verify the Bohr postulate on discrete energy levels. Now we can see that if, it, if an electron is moving in this particular orbit, it cannot come to here or there unless a particular amount of energy is lost by the electron or gained by the electron, right? Hence, these states are called stationary states, right? Now, here, this is the Frankhart experimental setup. Inside this, this will give you the current flowing through the circuit. This will give you the voltage drop across different points. Now, you can see here there is a multiplier in the current section for a particular voltage or particular position if I am not getting any value over there so we need to change the multiplier from one position to another and check whether value is coming. Now here you can see there are three different voltage positions we need to fix the one of the basically we need to fix the two voltages and another last voltage we will be finding by increasing the amount of current. Now you see inside the setup there is a combination like this where these dotted portion are filled with the inert gases. Why? In order that the electrons that are moving through the gas should not react with the gas. Now you can see there is a filament, I will heat that particular filament and because of this from the cathode this plate electron will be coming out and it will be going towards the anode plate. Now within the cathode and anode you can see two other grids are there. Basically they are plate having some voltage we will be providing the voltage. Now, if the electrons are moving from cathode to anode, there will be a current flowing through the circuit and we will find the corresponding current over here. Now, it may happen that all the electrons are not coming out from the cathode with the same velocity. We know this and as a result, some of the electrons may not reach to the anode. Hence the circuit will not be completed and as a result we will have a decreasing amount of current. If you see the graph of plate current versus accelerating voltage, you will find current is increasing but at a certain point the current is now getting decreased. Okay? Now again it is increasing so I need to provide extra amount of potential to the electron so that the electrons that are coming back towards the cathode should have sufficient amount of energy again in order to go towards the anode. So we will be having the increasing current. For that case we will provide two voltages. This particular grid will be having a voltage of the order 1.5 volt. Okay? So, if I supply this amount of potential, it will give the sufficient amount of energy to the electrons in order to go again towards the anode and this particular grid will be given a voltage of 7.5 electron, 7.5 volt in order to give more amount of potential so that the electrons which are coming back from anode towards cathode will again gain sufficient amount of energy in order to go to anode and have a complete circuit and a certain amount of current will be flowing through it. Now in the interval of the voltage, this voltage will be increasing say for example in an interval of 2 or 3 volt. Okay? and we will go up to say 90 volt 
okay and you will be getting corresponding currents flowing through the circuit then from the accelerating voltage that you are supplying from 0 to 90 volt will be plotted in the x axis and corresponding current that we are getting from the display will be plotting towards the y axis and at, if you plot this you will be getting this kind of discrete nature of the graph now from the from these valleys okay we need to draw the perpendicular say for this and this line there will be a certain gap in the voltage a value now i will be getting several types several number of this type of gaps like four or five gaps in our graph paper and if i take the average of all the gaps all the voltages we will get the particular a constant value of this difference which will come at around 11 to 13 volt ok so from there we can conclude that the energy levels are not continuous in quantum mechanics they are discrete so from this particular experiment we will verify this fact that Bohr postulate or the quantum mechanics gives us discrete energy level.